here making an inky cap mushroom hat and we're just gonna start out the first technique I tried was failing so you're gonna see some things that aren't quite what we need to do here but you still will need some cardboard and this might be a good idea for some people it just wasn't working for me and yes I was watching charmed for the most of this and it helped me get through this because this drove me crazy right here I basically cut out this pattern and then tried to tape it up into a nice little circle and I saw somebody else do it and theirs turned out very lovely. I will link that video so maybe somebody else can get that to work for them, but it's certainly not me. And I was really trying to go for a different shape anyway. Here's where I needed to take a little break, but here we are about to see the shape and much better technique than I have right about now and so you just bane of my existence but you'll just need to cut this basic pattern out make sure there's enough room for your head i wish that i would have gone a little bit deeper with that like inner semicircle because i was having trouble keeping it on my head at parts of the time when it came out and i think that that would have just made it a little bit uh, more secure and then here I had to cut it out. I hated cutting all this cardboard. It was so hard to cut. But that's how cardboard is. But I did come up with that technique. We kind of make little smaller sections to cut. It, and it was a little bit easier to do. Rough time. But yeah, we're just doing that. It turns into this. Basically, you make that pattern and then you cut it in half. And then you just put the little pieces on there. And you glue them all together so that it creates this nice shape. And that was the shape of the mushroom cap, which is a lot less circular and kind of more of a tall kind of bell pattern. So that's what I wanted. I glued it together and then I taped it all around so that it would have like a nice um, outer shell. And obviously I taped it all around, but this is where I was just, you know, messing around with it. And it is sticky on the inside, but we're gonna fix that later. But this is what it looks like now. This part did take a while, but it was not that bad. And then came my favorite part, was using all of this paper and cardboard that I had been saving. I didn't use the cardboard pieces, but I did use all the paper we'd been saving in there. And I paper mache I loved the texture of this. And yes, I did absolutely make a mess. But that's just who I am as a person. So, there's really no avoiding that, whatever I do. Is it dangerous that I am wearing fun clothes here and not random craft clothes? Yes, I do change later off camera, but not here. I didn't get anything on those clothes. This is what it looked like in the end. I used the Lego bag for the outer shell and I actually loved it. Like for the final layer, I ended up doing two layers and so that Lego shell was the last layer. Then I had to go through the inside and that is how we got rid of the stickiness. And you don't need to do the cardboard part, just the like little tape shell part. And yes, I did absolutely obliterate that glass. I just completely messed it up. But I was thirsty. What am I to do? <laughs> what was I to do? <laughs> but yeah, so you just do the inside and then here's where I make the little head a circle for your head and then you cut two cross pieces um, one you know across the front and back and one from the left to the right so that it's nice and secure and I just glued it together I am impatient so I do have my craft hair dryer as always and yes I did actually probably burn myself a couple of times here I know I burned myself later uh, for sure but you know whenever I'm using hot glue I burn myself it does not matter so yeah, just cut that out, and it's gonna go in the middle. <laughs> and then I ended up also painting the inside black. I did that off camera. Yay! Look at my legs! I told you I'm just a mess as a person. I did, however, get paint on my favorite shirt, and well, one of my favorite shirts on that was that. But yeah, that's the black paint I used on the inside. 
I painted the outside with uh, two or three coats of just regular white. And then what you're gonna see here is how I created the texture that those mushrooms have. They're kind of like fuzzy. And so I just kind of got some of this, a uh, little modeling piece, and then got a popsicle stick and just kind of like worked it on there. And I've just played around with it with different sizes and everything. And it ended up kind of looking like a character of Doctor Who, <laughs> but it also looks like the mushroom, so it turned out good. Uh, here's where I started getting creative, I guess, and I just mixed a bunch of water and some ink and paint, you know, in my cups, and I just poured it on top, kind of wiped it. Yeah, there's where I put the, not ink, um, dye, <laughs> actual dye, uh, just started pouring it made a mess but it turns out really pretty and it just kind of blends better and I like those colors. And the next step is making the little gems I wanted in the front and actually the girl from the video did that too. She made hers dew drop but I was going for the look of the ink for what you'll call it uh, like dripping off the mushroom and that's what I was going for here so I used kind of black um, and kind of like a dark brown and like iridescent kind of esque colors and I just hooked all of them together and in the beginning you saw I had those two different sizes. I had the longer uh, rods for the longer beads I had and then shorter rods for the shorter beads and I cut them accordingly and just twisted them on there, chained them all together. And then here I glue them, uh, I just encased them in glue all around. I had pre uh, planned out where I wanted everything. And I didn't burn myself until the very last one. I think I just got impatient and I put my finger on the glue too early and I burnt my thumb. My thumb was actually burnt for like a week. It hurt. <laughs> but I was fine. Okay, but gluing the headpiece was a little hard in there, but I got it in there. And off camera, I put all the leaves in because I swear that was one of the things that driving me crazy. It was just kind of tedious for me and it kind of hurt my back because I didn't have anywhere higher to put it. Um, so it took me a little longer than it maybe should have I to do because I kept putting it off. But here's the final look. Three, two, one. And thank you for tuning in.